So again, I know this is a lot of speakers, but again, each one of these individuals that are speaking here today has put their own effort into this issue um, in many different ways. And there's many different jobs to take and carry on. And the next elected official is one that is stepping out of uh, the, the normal mode of affairs and, and really getting the issue and speaking to it. And that's Senator Greg Ball. How are you all doing? How's it going today? You know, as I look out uh, amongst this crowd, I got to tell you, this, is, this has been a very interesting little, little uh, journey through public policy. I'll tell you uh, just real quick, and I'll keep it short. Most of you, if you lived in my district, you probably tried to vote against me twice, once in the morning and once at night. <laughs> Maybe three times, OK? The people who came to meet me last year came from two different persuasions on this issue of fracking. Folks from the industry would come, and they wore nice suits. They had cowboy boots on a lot of times. I got to tell you, we got along pretty well. I wore my cowboy boots. I don't have them on today, but they knew they were Lucchese's. They knew all the places I would hang out in Texas. They looked like folks that would show up to my trap shoot. We would have a great afternoon. And then folks who were against fracking, they would come into my office. A lot of them looked like a lot of you folks. Didn't look like they were members of my base. But as a responsible legislator, I left wondering who the hell's lying to me. Because the two sides are so diametrically opposed. And as a responsible legislator, I said, you know what? This is too important to screw up. I have got to go down to Pennsylvania, and I have got to see this firsthand. So that's exactly what I did. I went to Pennsylvania, and when, when you go into the offices in the Senate, I need you to talk to my colleagues at least and make sure that you realize that you got to speak from the corner in which they will understand. I want you to talk about sportsmen. I want you to talk about private property rights. I want you to talk about farmers. And I want you to talk about the multi-billion dollar industry that has used loopholes and driven through them with a Mack truck. When I went to Pennsylvania, I met farmers. I met one woman who had 11 cows that freshened. I don't know, you all know what that means? They have babies, okay? Out of the 11, she pulled out eight dead baby cows. Now I grew up on a farm, that's not good. In fact, they didn't even drink the fracking fluid directly. They were contaminated by eating grass. It was far away from the spill. I saw that firsthand. Then I met a family that had a, a piece of property for three generations. They've been swimming and fishing in that pond for three generations. They've had clean water for three generations. They put up a fracking platform. They had a diesel spill. That pond is now destroyed for as long as we can know. That piece of property has been devalued by 90%. And when they were able to light their water on fire, which really was the least of their worries, when they did the testing and found out what was in their water, the industry came back and said what they always say in Pennsylvania, it's naturally occurring. Because they test before to be good neighbors, but they don't test for what's in the fracking fluid. And then you have private property owners that are forced to sue a multi-billion dollar industry. I got to tell you, it's because of things like this, that in Pennsylvania, it's members of the Tea Party, yes, the Tea Party, that are trying to hold this industry accountable. I can tell you from what I've seen, and I need you to get that message back to my colleagues in the Senate. Because I believe that if we lay out the red carpet and we allow the loopholes that have been allowed in other states, we're going to have Republican senators five years from now they are going to wish to hell they didn't lay out that red carpet to this industry that will not hold itself accountable. To the extent that you can, ask them to go to Pennsylvania and see it firsthand. I believe in the genuine goodness of this governor. I believe that if he went to Pennsylvania and saw this firsthand, he would do everything to put the brakes on the fracking express. It is fundamentally important that we make sure that this industry is held accountable and that that Halliburton loophole, and let's just talk politics for a second. Everybody talks about Halliburton. Well, who's next? Dick Cheney, right? Well, Halliburton has had record profits under President Obama. 
And whether it be Obama or Bush, a governor's mansion or the White House, if you're a billionaire or gazillionaire, you have red carpet access. And this issue is exactly why people are sick of politics in the United States of America. It is time that those in the Tea Party and those in Occupy start, stop pointing at each other and start looking up and realize it is the most powerful in this country that have corrupted this system. We're not going to allow it to happen in New York. Stand firm. Go get them. Give them hell. So when I drive, yeah, I drive the Mountain Keeper vehicle into a toll booth or into a driveway. People are like, Mountain Keeper? What's a Mountain Keeper? So sometimes your name is self-explanatory and sometimes it isn't. Well, the next organization that's here to speak, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> Julia and Claire from Frack Action. Hey everybody, so just wanted to welcome you to the, the halls of a place where there are constantly compromises made and backroom deals struck. And we've come here today uh, with some water from our friends in Dimmick to say that we will not accept any deals cut and we are asking you to speak with us to tell the governor in one voice what we, the majority of New Yorkers, want. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Governor Cuomo. Governor Cuomo. Please take note. Please take note. The people of New York. The people of New York will not accept any deal. Will not accept any deal. To spare some places. To spare some places. And sacrifice others. And sacrifice others. The people of New York. The people of New York will not accept any plan. Will not accept any plan. To regulate and oversee. To regulate and oversee. This corrupt. This corrupt. Reckless. Reckless. Criminal industry. Criminal industry. This practice. This practice. Is inherently dangerous. Is inherently dangerous. We will not be fooled. We will not be fooled. We will not allow. We will not allow. These corporations. These corporations. To steamroll over us. To steamroll over us. We refuse to allow. We refuse to allow. Them to carve up New York. Them to carve up New York. Into upstate and downstate. Into upstate and downstate. Protected and sacrificed. Protected and sacrificed. Statewide ban. Statewide ban. Statewide ban. Statewide ban. Statewide ban. Statewide ban. So 